Hey guys, it's me, Max Rainbow, and I am back for another video. So today, I am super duper excited to be continuing on my reactions to Eurovision 2021. In this video, I'm going to be reacting to Denmark's entry called, oh gosh, I'm not going to be able to pronounce this, Uwe Ospakinanden by Fire and Flame. So I'm excited to get into this entry because honestly, I do generally really like Denmark's entries. I am very sad that Ben and Tan are not going to Eurovision this year. What makes me a little bit more upset is that they wanted to go, is that they wanted to at least compete in the national selection and they weren't even allowed to do that. That makes me a little bit upset, but... I will be looking past that for this reaction. I'm excited because you know what? I do generally really like Denmark's entries. I really love their entry last year, which is why I really wanted to see Ben and Tam competing this year, but it is what it is. So, hey, without further ado, let's get right into reacting. Before we move on with the video, I just wanted to remind you guys to follow me over on my Instagram at Maxi Rainbow. I've been doing a lot of Eurovision 2021 themed drag photo shoots, so make sure you follow me over there so you don't miss out on any of those. Oh. Okay. So immediately I'm getting very 80s vibes. I was going to say, generally I don't really like that kind of LED because it's very dated 80s kind of LED. But I can tell immediately it sounds like an, a song from the 80s and they they look like they're dressed like they're from the 80s. So, so I'm more inclined to allow it if y'all are going for a specifically a 80s theme. Okay. There's a little bit of humor to it, I see. Okay. I actually do kind of like the aesthetics of it. Okay. Okay, oh, I like this little dance break, okay. I like their energy, they seem cool. I like them. I like the aesthetics. I will say though, here's the problem, right? So we've got Last Dance from Greece, we have Iceland, we had Rayleigh. There's been a lot of like 70s, 80s disco influences in Eurovision and just in music in general lately. And they are obviously also going for that kind of 80s inspiration. Here's the problem so far, I don't dislike it. I wanna make that very clear, but this sounds like a song I would really, really love, but it sounds like a song that would have also been released in the 80s. Like, this doesn't sound like an updated for 2021 song. This literally sounds like it was plucked right from the 80s. But hey, I mean, it still sounds like a song that when it would come on, I would still dance to it. You know what I mean? But. Ooh, I love the synths. Choo -choo. <laughs> Yeah, like this song, I mean, listen, it sounds like a song that could have won in, in, you know, 1986 or, or, or 1990 or something like that. You know, this could have been a nice, you know, follow up to Corolla. It could have, you know, maybe been a contender against Corolla. But, you know, for 2021, I don't know. But maybe people who were alive back then are going to really identify with this. Who knows? <laughs> I 
I love his energy, though. I do like this little kind of instrumental dance break. Bam. I mean, listen. Okay, now this is one of those songs where it's like, listen, this ain't gonna be my winner because this is dated and I don't really anticipate it doing very well in Eurovision. However, it's fun, you know, and I'll listen to it. I'll throw it in the playlist and when it comes on at work and people are like, oh, is this a song from the 80s? I'll be like, no, it is not, but it's still fun. It's still cute and it's upbeat. It's got good energy. I like them as performers. They had good personality. I'm surprised it was selected because I mean, I do kind of like the visuals. Like I think they did everything right. I wouldn't change much about the way that they did this. Maybe I would make it a little bit more kitschy. Maybe I would play up more on the fact, like have a TV and have them turn it on. Like we're back in the eighties. But yeah guys, that is it for my reaction to Denmark's entry for Eurovision 2021. Don't forget to leave in the comments down below what you think about their entry this year. As usual, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you don't miss out on any other videos that I do. As well as don't forget to follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter at MaxiRainbow so you don't miss out on any posts, polls, live streams, anything like that. And yeah guys, my name is Max Rainbow. I will see you all later. Goodbye. Mwah.